Over the years, I can't tell you how many people have told me that they bought their first BMW after watching my YouTube videos. They'll usually send me a message, maybe some photos of their new car, and they almost always ask for some tips and advice for new BMW owners. So in this video, I wanna share with you five tools that you're gonna need for your BMW, tools that I use on my own personal car that you're gonna find super helpful. So once you buy your car, the very first thing that you should get is one of these Bentley service manuals. Now I know what you're thinking, Justin, that's a book, that's not a tool, but trust me, what tool is more valuable than knowledge? This book tells you every possible thing that you could ever wanna know about your car. It's got technical data, wiring diagrams, it's got explanations for over 400 different fault codes. It's got step-by-step -step instructions for both repairs and maintenance with photos, with torque specs, with fluid capacities. It covers things as simple as changing the oil and as complex as taking the engine out of the car. Aside from that, it's got some interesting facts sprinkled in that go far deeper than what you're gonna find in that little flimsy owner's manual that the car came with. Uh, for example, if you're ever wondering why your BMW doesn't have an oil dipstick and how the car goes about measuring oil life, it actually tells you right here. It says, oil change interval is determined by engine oil condition sensor, monitoring oil condition, oil level, and oil temperature, and from additional algorithms using these parameters, engine load, fuel consumption, and time and distance since the last oil change. There's tons of facts like this in this book. So if you bought one of these cars, you're planning on owning it long term and doing a lot of the repairs and maintenance yourself, you owe it to yourself to pick up one of these service manuals. The next tool that you're gonna to wanna to pick up for your BMW is a Carly adapter. Now Carly is like an OBD scanner on steroids. It just plugs into your car's OBD port and then it's gonna to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. So through the Carly app on your phone, you can read and clear BMW specific fault codes. There's also a health check feature that will go through all the different electrical systems in the car and it can find faults. Even if you don't necessarily have a check engine light or any uh, lights on your dashboard, it can find problems that are even deeper than what the car surfaces to you. Now coding with Carly allows you to unlock a lot of really cool hidden features on your BMW. Just a couple of my favorites off the top of my head. You can increase the brightness of your angel eyes. You can add a digital speedometer to that little screen that's like in between the gauges that's kind of like a cool uh, party trick that you can show people um, for cars with comfort access you can hold down the little lock uh, notch on the door and all of your windows will roll up and the sunroof will close but there's tons of different things just like that even on my 2006 e90 there's just tons and tons of coding options that you can unlock with carly you can use Carly to register new batteries to your car. There's a used car check feature that can see if the mileage has ever been tampered with. You can even look at some of the driving behaviors of the previous owner. That might be kind of interesting to check out. Um, but anyway, we're just barely scratching the surface here. I could do a full video just about Carly. Uh, maybe let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. But yeah, I just highly recommend this app. So this is actually the latest version of the Carly adapter. This is what they call their universal adapter and it works for both iOS and Android and it actually works for a variety of different car brands now. It's not just Carly for BMW anymore. Um, the functionality might vary a little bit depending on what brand of car you have, but I actually just used this the other day to clear a check engine light on the FRS because they support Toyota now. But anyway, buy one of these, keep it in your glove box. You'll thank me later. When you go to change the spark plugs on your BMW, you're gonna to wanna to pick up a thin wall spark plug socket with a swivel extension like this. Now on a lot of BMW engines, especially the inline sixes, you might find that the last two spark plugs, you know, closest to the firewall, they'll usually have like a strut brace that covers the top of them. And with the swivel extension, a lot of times you'll actually be able to reach those uh, without just spending hours like taking everything apart to get to those. You don't have to take, you know, the strut brace off with this. You should be able to reach everything just fine. Now this is a 14 millimeter for the N54 and N55 engines. If you have an N52, that should be a 16 millimeter or 5 eighths socket. You can check your, uh, confirm that in your handy dandy service manual that you should have bought by now. But anyway, thin wall, magnetic, 12 inch swivel extension, you should be able to reach all six plugs, no problem. Oil changes are the most basic and essential maintenance item that you're gonna do, and even if you don't wanna do any other repairs or maintenance yourself, you should at least be able to change your own oil, and an oil filter wrench just like this is gonna make that job so much easier. 
I can still see you guys. Now, if you change the oil on any other brand of car, maybe you just hand tighten the oil filter or maybe even use a tool like this. It's like a rubber strap that um, you wrap around the filter and it gives you a little bit of extra leverage. Well, on BMWs, they use a cartridge style filter. So you have a plastic cap that the filter will go into and then the cap has sides on it. Um, it's like a, I don't know how else to say it. It's like a giant nut. You can think of it like that. And then this filter will fit perfectly onto that cap. This is a 86 millimeter wide and it's got what they call 16 flutes or 16 sides to it. So not only does the oil filter wrench make it super easy to get the old one off because you can attach an extension piece like this. ASMR wrenches. You like that? Okay, that's really weird, sorry about that. But anyway, with the torque wrench, you're able to get the exact torque spec every single time. When you're just doing it by hand, you're really just guessing. You could do it like not tight enough to where the oil leaks out, or maybe you make it too tight and you can never get it off. With a torque wrench, you're getting it right every single time, it takes the guesswork out of it. And lastly, we have Torx bits and Torx sockets. T-O-R-X. Now, I don't remember really using these on any other brand of car that I've owned, but BMW uses these really extensively throughout the whole car. You're gonna find these all over the engine bay, throughout the interior. I just swapped my seats a couple weeks ago when the seats were held in with Torx bolts. I wanna say even the headlight bulbs are held in with Torx bolts, so you're definitely gonna need these. I don't know if it's like a Euro car thing, but it seems like every DIY that I do on the E90, I end up using at least one of these, so definitely pick up a set if you plan on doing some work on your car. They even make Torx Allen wrenches for bolts that are like harder to get to, so maybe you want to check those out, but you're definitely going to need these if you're going to work on your BMW. So the links to everything that I just showed you are going to be linked down below. Definitely check those out, especially if you're planning on doing some maintenance, doing some repairs on your BMW. You're definitely going to need some of these tools that I just showed you. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what other tools that you use. Um, I asked on Instagram, someone said their credit card. Uh, someone said a hammer. Not sure what you're going to use that for, but good luck with that. But anyway, drop a comment down below. Let me know what tools I forgot, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so windy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. Hold it down, hold it down. Keep me on the ground. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. I wear skate shoes in all my videos and people will be like dude does this guy even skate or what but yeah we out here this is my home skate park Marysville not the best but it's right by my house there's some cool people here and it's like never crowded it's like the most people that I've seen here there's only like maybe five or six people so it's just a chill place to skate hey try to play me back then but you learning now do not play with fire you'll be burning now it's like butter baby butter when I churn it out they gonna talk behind your back until you turn around Yeah, that sound good, tell them break it down Ice so windy, sing it down, don't forget